Cindy. Joining me now from Yuma, Arizona, is that congressman representing Alabama's first congressional district in Congress, Congressman Jerry Carl. Mr. Congressman, wow, we're hearing and learning more from you than we're seeing anywhere else in the mainstream media. I don't understand why our president and the vice president and the Democrat Party as a whole does not come down here and get an idea of what's going on. We witnessed several hundred pounds of meth being taken out of cars. We witnessed uh, just people coming across the border from 140 different countries. It's not just Hispanics from Mexico. They're coming from around the world and, and, and they're trafficking in drugs. They're bringing in diseases. All these things are happening and, and where is our administration at? They're, they're, they're absent, they're di they've disappeared. And that's the narrative they keep trying to say. Kamala Harris is gonna go down to Guatemala. She's gonna throw money at the problem. But they aren't talking about all these countries. I don't think any of the American people realized just how many people from different countries are coming all around the world, but it makes sense. If the border's open, they can get free health care, free school for their kids. Why wouldn't everybody else come? Most people don't understand how simple it is to get here because the, the Biden administration has stripped the, the border uh, uh, officers of a lot of things that they can do. But it's this simple. If you're a Russian, you get a ticket into Cancun, Mexico, uh, a two-way ticket into Cancun, Mexico. When you land in Cancun, Mexico, you get a travel card. It allows you to travel anywhere in Mexico you want to travel. So you travel to the closest uh, airport to the, to the border. They will bus you to the borders. The coyotes will get you and take you to the crossing. You dump all these airline tickets and all this ID out of your pocket, and you literally walk across the border. There's nothing stopping you. Just walk and turn yourself in. And there's groups of families. We just left another group. They, 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 they were from Russia. They were from uh, uh, Cuba. Lots of Cubans are coming in right now. And, and we're, again, where is the Biden administration? And I'm so upset about the drug portion of it. I've seen so many drugs in the last 48 hours. It is mind blowing when you see huge balls of heroin, 10 pounds of heroin they picked up last night, 10 pounds. Now, this is just what they're catching. They think they're catching maybe as much as 2% of what's coming in this country, maybe. And that's a guess. That's just unbelievable to hear. The opioid epidemic had gotten so bad under the Obama administration. President Trump really confronted it. Really, we started seeing addiction going down, deaths going down. But now it's all coming back. Fentanyl. I mean, with, looking at your Twitter account, watching the pictures and the videos of you guys going through the cars and how they're actually transporting this across. We talk about the human cost, but there's a human cost to all these drugs coming in. And, and I thought I understood it until I came here and saw it firsthand. And, 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 and I've, I've got a whole, I get angry about it now. It's not a, t a political topic anymore. It's, it's the very life of our country that we're giving away down on these borders. And, and again, it's not just Mexico. It's 140 different countries. They're just, anyone that wants to come is coming through our borders. And, and there's, there's nothing that the the, the, the patrol uh, that, that our, our border agents can do. I mean, ICE has been not defunded, but their funding's been cut back so much. All the, uh, all the uh, border patrol, all their job is, is to process these people and pass it to ICE. ICE doesn't have a place to put them. The Biden administration, uh, administration is bragging about there's not as many children as they were. I know they're not because they, they've moved them to another facility. They bust them out. They will move. You can be within 24 hours of crossing the border. You can be in another town, in another state, walking the streets. And, and that's what we're dealing with. And looking at the, you, you see the portions of wall that are actually just sitting there. This is already paid for. It's not like they had to go through a certain process. They're just leaving the portions of wall there when this would actually help Border Patrol agents. What is the morale like for Border Patrol right now and ICE? Because there's nobody supporting them. You know, we did not see any ICE agents on this trip. And I, 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 I assume that was planned that way. It was all Border Patrol that we dealt directly with. But, you know, they're trying to keep their morale high. They're very professional, very professional people. They believe I mean, some of these that we talked to have been there 27 and 30 years doing this. And they're just begging us to help stop the bleeding and the drugs coming in this country. They don't have time to catch the drugs. 
They're spending all their times dealing with these families because you get a family of eight or 10 or 15 or as many as 50 at one time. Every person has to be process processed. It's not, it's not, it's not as simple as just moving them to a facility. So it's, they're having to pull everybody out of the field to process those 25 or 30 while the drugs are, are steadily being, being brought across the border. And these huge gaps in the wall that were never finished, never finished. And the drug traffickers are so taking advantage of oh, this. It's, it's, it's just unbelievable to hear. So, so we, we've got, they're tracking uh, 1,200 from Brazil that have flown in Acapulco, Acapulco, if I pronounce that correctly. They will spend... $7,000 with the coyotes to bring them across the border. Do the math. 1,200 times 7,000. That'll be a one day of work for two coyotes. They're making a fortune off of this. And what are we doing? You know, we're talking about the triangle, the triangle, the triangle. The triangle's not where, where, where the real problem is. The problem's overall, it's 140 different countries deep. And it affects every state in this nation. And we, we, we better get serious about it, get serious about it quick. What can the Republicans do right now? Because we're in the minority. So what, how can we hold them accountable? Is it the local jurisdictions? Do you think the states? I know Texas is already trying to sue. But in these drug traffickers, it's like, can other states get involved to try to put pressure on the Biden administration to stop this? It, if just a handful of Democrats will work with us. And let's come up with some funding to fund the ICE. ICE. The, the, the reason it is so easy for people to do this is they know they're not going to spend any time in a holding facility. If they thought they were going to spend 10 or 15 days in a holding facility, which the law says they are to be held until they have a trial, uh, if they thought they were truly going to be held, they wouldn't be coming. So what they do know is they can process. So a handful of Democrats, a little bit of money, let's put it in, in into ICE, let's right. beef ICE up, let's give them what they need, and, and let's process and get these people done properly. Not Absolutely. all of them are criminals. Not all of them are crooks. Some of them have got true reasons to want to be here. I'm telling you, and, and just, just, the, just the pure carnage of, of human, I mean, you get down on the border in, 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 in the day after pill, and I mean, you see empty packets of it laying around where these girls have been, been brought down and raped the whole way down. What, where, where's our, our sympathy for, for those, those women? Well, Mr. I mean, Congressman, they, they, what you're doing exposing this, though, you're giving them voice. And I really hope that the people are listening in D.C. in the swamp because it's a humanitarian crisis. You're doing the media's work. You're doing the Biden administration's work for them. Keep us posted on what you're finding because we're honestly seeing it nowhere else. God bless you and what you're doing. You're really giving these people a voice.